problem with heroin? Does it automatically make you think about death because you're playing with your life a lot? Or? Yeah, I suppose that comes with the territory. You're flirting with, with death. And, and that's probably what's most attractive about it at first is the danger. You know? But I beat it. I beat death. I'm immortal. I think it's gonna rain. Lane to me is fucking one of the greatest singers in rock and roll history and, and I've never heard anything like him before and I will never hear anything like him since. I saw Alice in Chains at the, I believe it was the Paramount and Lane was just lit up. He seemed like he was incandescent from the inside and uh, I remember looking down at him going, wow, that guy's really got it. He's got it. Just to be able to get to be in a band with a guy that does that to you, there's nobody better to me than him. And he's my friend. He's a guy that that gave me a place to live when I moved to Seattle. I knew I didn't have a, any place to go and, out and took me in and lived with him at a rehearsal hall, you know? He was just a great fucking guy. I remember this about Lane. Mm -hmm. Lane's voice was so powerful that I could hear his voice coming off his body, like out of his chest, louder than was coming out of the monitors. Because you can tell, you can hear the acoustic sound of a person's voice, and it's different than what's coming out of the speakers. I remember how much power he had when he sang. You know, when we started, we started playing together and writing tunes. You know, mostly I was just, I was just kind of doing backups. I didn't want to fucking sing anyway. We got him. We got that guy. And he's pretty fucking good. You know. He would just sing his vocal and then sing the backup and the harmony and it, and just one take perfectly. That's one thing he was so good at is that he would sing one thing and he could harmonize on it and harmonize. Like that. As a singer and as a human being, I felt that he was speaking to another realm. And that really stuck with me. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. You know, he was he was great. There's no, nobody better in my opinion. Hey, I'm Ian Robinson with MTV News. The rock world lost one of its more honest voices this weekend when Alice in Chains frontman Lane Staley was found dead in his Seattle home on Friday. He was 34. Is she ready to know my frustration?